Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I have been so obsessed with Coach recently and I'm not talking about like the new Coach items but I've just re-fallen in love with vintage Coach and I don't know I just can't stop using the Coach bags that I currently have and so I wanted to make today's video all about my vintage Coach bag collection and I have gotten a couple of comments um, from different people on the previous Coach video that I did about the Coach court bag which I will link up above. Um, but I got a few comments on there from different viewers saying that they would be interested in seeing my vintage coach um, handbag collection. So I wanted to go ahead and make this video for you guys. All right, guys, so before I actually show you the bags in my collection, I just wanted to tell you guys a couple of things, um, a couple of like general things about my collection. So the first thing is that all of my bags except for two are made in the US and when I buy vintage coach handbags I always love to look for the ones that are made in the United States um, and if I can I love to find ones that were made in the first original coach factory in New York City so on the inside of every coach bag you'll see like a stamped um, almost like a label or a description of like what the bag is made out of and it's called a creed um, or at least that's what like people online call it, but it's basically just like a stamp thing on the inside of the bag, um, some stamped words, and it will say where the bag is made. So on the New York ones, the ones that were made in the first factory, it'll say made in New York City, USA. So I do have a couple of those in my collection, which I absolutely love. Um, but yeah, most of my bags, or all of them except for two, are made in the US. And then the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys about my bags um, was that all of them except for the two that were not made in the US, um, are from secondhand like marketplaces online so eBay or Poshmark if you want to get a vintage coach bag unless you have like a mom or grandma who bought these back in the day um, you can only get these vintage coach bags from like eBay or um, Poshmark, Depop, Mercari so um, that's where all of my vintage coach handbags are from okay so the last thing that I wanted to tell you guys about these vintage coach bags is that um, well, specifically my vintage coach bag collection is that I will be selling some of these um, online in my Poshmark closet just because, um, you know, some of them look very similar both in terms of color and size. So um, I'm trying to downsize a little bit and perhaps make room for new ones. I'll let you know throughout this video as I come across the ones that I'm thinking about selling. But when you go through this video, if you see any bag that you might be interested in purchasing, um, definitely go and check out my Poshmark closet. Okay, so now let me show you guys the bags. So the first one that I have here is the Coach Stewardess bag. Um, this one, the official like code for it is 9525. So if you guys aren't familiar with coach bags or vintage coach bags, um, all of the vintage coach bags that were made I think like maybe mid 1980s or starting from the 1990s they'll have like this little four digit um, number at the end of their serial number and that signifies like what style of bag it is so this one is the stewardess bag um, and it's like a pretty like decently large size or I would say it's medium sized bag um, it does have the adjustable straps and it has four holes on the uh, strap on both sides and then it has like a front flap with a turn lock closure and then um, no pockets on the back it's just like smooth leather so when you open it up um, there's a little pocket right here and this will fit like a cell phone um, and some cards you know whatever else you need to put and then there's another pocket here and then sorry guys I have my clothes stuffed in here to help the bag keep its shape but when you open it up, it's just like a large bucket and then there is a zip pocket right here. And then, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but like the Creed that I was talking about is like right here. Okay, I think you guys can see that. But that's the Creed that I was talking about. And then you can see at the bottom of it, there's a serial number and it does tell you where the bag is made. So this one um, was made in the US. I did buy this one um, off eBay and I got it for a really good deal actually. So I bought this one for $30 which is absolutely amazing. Um, and it's in pretty much like new condition. The seller who I got this from, um, I believe this was her grandmother's bag and she said that it really had never been used. Um, and there's like, 
you know, barely any scuffing on the edges, like no tears, loose stitching, anything like that. It's honestly pretty much in new condition. So this was a really, really good deal. Um, and primarily I like to use this bag for work. It doesn't fit a laptop, but it fits a good amount of stuff. And I think it looks pretty prof professional. The other thing is I absolutely love using this bag in like the fall winter time. Um, I don't know. I just think it looks really, really good. And I really like the um, chunky strap with the chunky buckle. I think that's super cute. So yeah, this again is the Coach Stewardess bag. Okay, so then the next bag that I have here is this uh, like cognac tan colored bag. This is called the Basic Bag. This one was made in New York City. So this is one of two made in New York City bags that I have. The ones that were made back in New York City, they also do have like a four digit number code um, as at the end of the serial number. But from what I read online, um, those numbers don't actually mean anything. Like they don't signify the style of the bag. It was only like starting from mid 1980s or 1990s that they started um, assigning styles to numbers. So yeah, but this one is made in New York City. And then when you open it up, it's just like, a, there's no really no pockets there's just one pocket here and the leather is unlined so that's the other thing about vintage coach bags um, is that none of the bags are lined they're all just like the unfinished leather and I really really like that about these bags so then here's the Creed and you can I don't know if you can see it but it says made in New York City right there at the bottom and then with this bag it's very very basic as the name suggests um, it's just leather on all sides and then what I really like about also about all these vintage coach bags is that most of the time these straps are detachable so with this one um, you can take it off and just you know like use it as a clutch um, or a wristlet because it does have this little strap here so I really really like this bag and I'm not sure if you guys can tell just from like seeing it on camera it does feel a little bit more um, just I don't know like durable almost um, definitely very very nice quality leathers so yeah I absolutely love this bag um, again this one was such a steal I got this for $18 off of Poshmark um, and yeah it was just amazing and same thing it came practically brand new like if you look at the edges there's no wear on the edges at all this bag is I think from like the 1970s so it's about 50 years old and I'm not sure how it's managed to stay in this kind of a condition but um, it's absolutely gorgeous so yeah another really really good find okay so next up is this little bag here so I'm not really sure if it's showing up blue on camera it looks kind of black in my viewfinder but this is actually navy blue and um, okay so this one is again one of those like older ones it's not made in New York City it's made in the US but it's like one of the earlier made in US ones I think from the 1980s but so the serial number ends in three digits as opposed to four so it doesn't really have a style number but um, from what I remember online, style number for this bag is 9755, and a lot of people online call this the penny bag or the pocket bag. I don't, I honestly don't know which one is like the correct actual name of the bag, but it is the 9755. And um, I, out of all the vintage coach bags that I have, this style is my absolute favorite because I think this one is the perfect size. So I'm gonna show you guys two other bags alongside this one right now so you can kind of see the size difference. Okay. So I have this one here, which is like a little bit smaller. And then I also have this one here, which is a little bit bigger. So I feel like this one's a little bit too big. And then I feel like this one's a little bit too small. So that's why I say this one is the absolute perfect size. And I, I seriously just like love, love, love this bag. I think this one is so convenient. There's a pocket here in the back. And then when you open up the bag, there's another pocket here. And then on the inside of the bag, you have one more pocket there. Um, there are no zippers on this bag, so all the pockets are just open, like slip pockets. Um, but it's just, I don't know, the size is perfect. It holds a lot of stuff, but it's not too big. And it's just the perfect crossbody length. And then the other thing is that, um, you know, again, you can remove the strap, so you could use this as like a clutch. Um, and it's just perfect. Um, this one, 
is from I think the 1980s uh, just based on the way the inner inside Creed looks and you can like go online and just Google like um, Coach Creed's or how to authenticate vintage coach and you can find so many articles about um, You know like what kind of creeds are from what year and things like that um, Because the the way that the like stamp the creed stamp looks on the inside does change between like decades and between years so i'll have some of the my favorite articles on that linked in my description box below and also some really good articles about how to authenticate um like vintage coach bags because believe it or not there are fakes out there like actual fake um vintage coach bags so that's just something you kind of have to be careful about when you're buying on like ebay or poshmark i have seen sellers actually selling fake vintage coach bags so you definitely want to do your research first make sure you know how to um spot like a fake one and then you know go out and buy whatever bag it is that you want to buy but yeah out of all my bags this one is definitely my favorite and then um okay so the other thing that i was going to tell you guys was about the um like clips on this bag so coach like has two different types of clips that they use and i'm not sure why they use some bag why why they use certain clips for some bags and certain clips for others but let me show you the other clip really quick so this is the basic bag that i was showing you guys but if you look on this bag the clip is just like you know like a normal um like clip where you pull the little knob down and it opens but if you look at the clip on this bag it's a lot more substantial than the other one and it's really cool because it's like a claw you know like a crab claw clip crab claw clip um and i just like this kind of clip so much i think it's really really um pretty and it just adds such a nice accent to your outfit because it's a little bit chunkier so um, it's definitely a little bit more prominent I feel like than this one and it just looks a little bit more special I think like you know something extra so I don't know I love this kind of clip and when I'm looking for vintage coach bags I always try to find ones with this kind of a clip so yeah I absolutely again love this bag this one is definitely my favorite of all the bags that I have all right, so for my next bag, this one is the exact same one as the blue one that I just showed, um, except for this one was made a little bit later in time. So this one was made, I think, in the mid to late 90s. And then you can see what I mean um, in terms of the differences. So let me just put the straps on. Usually when I'm not using these bags, I'll just keep the straps stored inside the bag. I just find it's easier to store that way. But okay. So you can see here that the clips are much smaller than the other one. One second. So here's the clip on the blue one. And then this is the clip on the red one that I have. So much smaller. And then um, the strap does have like an adjustable little buckle on it. So that's the only good thing I think about this bag is that... Um, you can adjust the strap so it works well for you know lots of different people they can adjust it based on height but personally i actually like the other strap better where there's no um like belt buckle on it i think it just looks a lot cleaner um but i do feel like it runs a little bit like long on me so yeah i don't know it's just i guess personal preference but um this one it's structured the exact same way so it has a little slip pocket here and then um when you open it up there's a pocket here and then um yeah and then it's just the bag and actually if you guys are interested i think i will be selling this one on my poshmark account just because i have a, a different red one the one that i was showing earlier the slightly smaller sized one and um between this one and that one i like the color of the other red more this one's kind of like a true red and then let me show you guys this one this one's kind of like an orangey red so like a brighter red and this one's um you know just like a really true pretty um i don't know i would say like kind of like a red apple red so yeah i think i'm gonna be listing this one and selling this one um just because like i really don't want to have two red bags in my collection and then the other thing is i'm not really a fan of the adjustable strap so, so i'm probably gonna let this one go and um 
just hope that it goes to a better home. So if you guys are interested in this bag um, or any other vintage coach bags, definitely go and check out my Poshmark closet. I will leave a link to my closet down in the description box below. Um, Cause I think I'm going to be listing a couple of other of my vintage bags as well. Um, so yeah, go and check that out. If you want to find some good deals on some awesome bags, since we already kind of showed this bag several times, I think I'll talk about this one next. Um, this one is the, one of two one of three in my collection that is not like truly vintage so back around like 2010 to 2012 sometime in that time period coach came out with a reissue of their vintage coach bags and um i bought this bag during that reissue so this one um no pocket on the back it's just smooth and then there's a little pocket here then you have the bag and then um another little pocket here so it looks very similar to the other two that i just showed like the um the red and the blue one but it's much smaller and then same thing it has like the little stamp creed in here i've used this a lot and the only real wear and tear on this bag is like on the corners right here so considering the amount that i've used this bag i don't think the wear and tear is that bad at all so if you guys get any vintage coach bags um the one thing that i can say is that the quality is really excellent and um it will last you a very very long time all right so then the next bag that i have here is this black one and this is the one that i was showing with the blue one that's like one size bigger so this one is called the um convertible clutch this one that i have here was made in new york city and i absolutely love it um the leather is really really nice and like thick and pretty structured um this one's called the convertible clutch oh and look it has a little claw crab um clips but this one's called the convertible clutch because obviously you can take the straps off and then use it as a clutch but you can also do that with all of the other vintage coach bags too so i don't think it's really you know anything special um, that's unique to this bag but um, okay so this bag there's nothing on the back it's just leather I don't know what the style number is for this bag again because um, this was made in New York City and at that time they didn't have the like style num they didn't have a, a number paired with the style so I don't know what the style number of this is but if you just google coach convertible clutch you can find um, this definitely pops up okay and then it also has a little turn lock closure and then when you open it up there's a pocket here so very similar to the you know penny pocket bag and then um sorry more clothes and then when you open it here there is a zip pocket and then it's just the bag so again it's unlined leather and then the only cool thing about this one is that there is a zipper as opposed to the other bags where it was just like a slip pocket so yeah and if you guys wanted to know the difference um this one i know measures 11 inches this way whereas the other bags that i was showing um that i had in this red and blue color this one is nine inches like lengthwise so just to give you guys like an idea of the size difference um yeah i definitely prefer the size more as for this bag i bought this one off of poshmark and again, I got it for a super good deal. It was $18. Um, you can score some really, really great deals on these secondhand markets. Okay, so the next bag that I have here is this dark brown one. Uh, I think the color is like officially called mahogany, but it's just like a really nice chocolatey dark brown. And this style is called the Coach Ridgefield. And the um, style number is 9812 so this one was made in the 90s so it does have the style number and then uh on the back is a slip pocket and then when you open the flap there's another pocket here and i really like this one because this pocket expands so you can fit quite a bit of stuff in here and on the inside you have the zip pocket and then just the bag so very very roomy i really like this bag as well because um it looks pretty compact it doesn't look super big but um it holds a lot of stuff and it's just super useful i think so i really really like this one 
Um, I got this one off of eBay and this one was a little bit more as well. I think it was around $50. The condition is pretty much like new. The bottom is in pretty much perfect condition. Um, the strap is adjustable. So yeah, really awesome bag. I actually think I'm going to be listing this bag as well. And the reason is because I have another bag that looks almost exactly like this bag and I'm going to grab it for you guys right now. So here's my other bag and this one's actually the last bag. And as you guys can see, these two bags are very similar similar I mean well similar in terms of color right so they're both that mahogany color and um, they both have like the turn lock and the flap I know they're a little bit different this one has a top handle it's obviously a little bit smaller um, but both of them have adjustable straps and yeah I don't know I just I really don't want to keep two of the same in my closet um, so I think I'm gonna be selling this one the one thing that I do really like about this bag is that this one is so, so cute for fall and winter, especially with like, um, like a camel colored sweater, like a chunky sweater or with like a camel colored coat, um, or even with like ivory or cre cream, it just looks really, really pretty. Um, or with all black, like the styling options for these dark brown bags are seriously endless. And I don't think a lot of people go for dark brown bags but honestly like i love them and i think they're just so um so fun so classic you know the other thing about vintage coach bags that i absolutely love is that they're so like minimalistic and clean and and they just go really well with any outfit they're just very very classic you always stay in style so you can like really never go wrong with a vintage coach bag okay so then about this bag this one is called the court bag and the style number is 9870 so this one is a very very popular style like I mentioned at the beginning of this video I did do an entire video all about this bag um, and I'll have that linked in the description box below if you guys want to see like in-depth details about this bag then just go check out my other video um, but this one is a super super popular one and this is one that I bought during the reissue back in 2012 also so this one is not vintage um, but with the court bag the back has a slip pocket um, the straps are removable and then the strap is adjustable as well so it has like a little um, belt buckle and then when you open the little turn lock there's a slip pocket here in the front and then it's the bag and there's a little zip pocket back there and then the only other thing about this bag um, is that it does have this little top handle um, I never use this which is why mine's like flat I do wish it kind of stuck out because I think it's cuter but yeah this one is the court bag and um, I really love it alright guys so the next bag that I have here is the trail bag um, in the color black this one is from the 1990s like this particular style and the style number is 9965 so this bag is like a, a little small crossbody bag the back does have this slip pocket and then when you open the turn lock closure um, there's no pocket here in the front, but it just opens up into the bag and then it has like a little zip So this bag is like super super cute. It reminds me of a smaller version um, Of the coach stewardess bag that I just showed but it's just super super cute um, And then again like the stewardess bag it has the really nice um, chunky straps on here so I really really like these straps and it's in really really good condition as well like there's no wear at all on the bottom um, really no wear to the straps or to any parts of the bag there is just like a little bit of discoloration here uh, but that's really it so yeah in my very early vintage coach days I just you know saw this really loved it and just bought it but i think it's just super super cute all right guys so those are all of the bags in my vintage coach collection um i did get one request from a, from a subscriber who asked me and she asked me like what i um use on these bags to i guess like condition them and i use um i think it's called like chamberlain's leather milk i can't really remember but i just bought it off amazon it had the highest reviews and it works really well for these bags so i'll have that product linked down in the description box below um i was thinking about creating a video for you guys on how to like clean and um um, basically how to clean vintage coach bags because sometimes when you buy a vintage coach bag even if the outside looks almost perfect the inside might be really dirty 
Um, it's it's kind of gross, but I have bought in one bag where there was a lot of cat hair on the inside So that one was kind of a pain to deal with but but anytime I buy any sort of vintage coach bags online The first thing that I do when I get them is I give them like a thorough wash um, If you guys want to see a video on how I clean and condition my coach bags my vintage coach bags Let me know and I'll try to make one of those videos for you guys All right Well, that's it for this video and I hope you guys really enjoyed it if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe. I do post videos every single Friday about fashion and luxury. Um, so if you don't want to miss a video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And then if you guys are interested in any of the bags that I showed here today, um, I will be selling a couple of them. So definitely make sure to check out my Poshmark closet, which I will also link down below. Lastly, if you guys want to see what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis, I post all of my outfits of the day on my Instagram. Go and check that out if you want to get some outfit inspiration. Alright guys, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!